What is up you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Nikki here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over stock investing 101 for beginners, but to be honest with you, it's not really just beginners. I think anyone in their investing journey could take a hot second to remind themselves about these tips. You already know the drill, you guys, let's get it. Ooh, big bad. You're not talking money, you can miss me with the chit chat. I'm not with the rah rah or the all right, y'all, so yes, I am still currently filming these videos out of my office, but I'm waiting for the perfect stand-up desk to become available that I can add to my new apartment in my office YouTube space. So it is what it is. I, you know, it's not the best situation in here, but hey. Now, in this video, y'all, I'm talking about investing. So really, there's two types of investing. One, there's short-term investing. And I'm not talking about trading i'm not talking about scalping so you're in and out of a position in seconds to minutes i'm not talking about day trading i'm not even talking about swing trading well depending on how long you hold the swing i feel like it could be an investment i personally classify anything less than six months as trading i don't really see that as investing to be honest i feel like it should be a year or longer but hey you know it is what it is so they're short term holding something six months a year and above or the second one which is my personal favorite which i'm biased which i think is is really the only way to go is long-term investing and more specifically I think dividend investing is the best option for that now you can do growth investing and hold these companies for a longer period of time you could do a mix of both which I can appreciate because I do do that I do do I do that <laughs> which you guys I am going to go ahead and plug some free stocks you already know down in the description box below there is a link you can get a free stock with Robinhood with that link you can get free stocks with a Weeble with that link Link. check it out because you already know I highly 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 recommend having different accounts for different strategies that you are using I personally have like six or seven and because it is tax season that makes my life way easier because I know like okay this one I sold some stock short term this one I got dividends like it just keeps me organized so check it down in the link below get you organized get you some different accounts to keep it separate okay that's just my two cents but do what you will now let me get into five tips that every stock investing beginner intermediate advanced literally just person needs to remember check themselves before they literally wreck themselves and that first one you guys is do not invest with money that you need don't be pulling out of your grocery budget don't be skimping on some late payments on some bills don't be running up the credit card I'm one to talk I've run my credit card a little bit too much lately from the move so because you have to understand with investing in the stock market there is a slight chance you could lose it all so go in thinking this stock gonna take all my money I ain't gonna get nothing back if you go in with that state of mind and you're okay losing that money then you're good to go plus that will just keep your emotions in check when the stock market doing its damn thing which lately is I don't even know what it'll just check your emotions so you are able if you're an emotional person I guess to hold these positions long term you don't get shook you don't get scared you don't get frightened okay you're just in there letting it ride Godspeed on the journey of its life, but we trying to not touch this for 20, 30, 35, 40 years of you young enough. Congrats if you got 40 years in the market because you gonna be sitting pretty. But you guys get what I'm saying? Okay, let's get on to the second tip. And that is going to be avoid using leverage, AKA margin, okay, which is borrowed money. Now, I don't think I have to go into depth as to why this could smack you, but uh, it could smack you. So kind of like rule number one, only use money you don't need if you're borrowing money it ain't right don't be using that okay super experienced investors can dabble in it I would think but for the average Joe Schmo here <laughs> don't touch it you're gonna get slapped if you get slapped in a growth stock specifically you're gonna be in trouble you're gonna owe a lot of money back so just it's very appealing. It's like a credit card. You know, you got a 10,000 limit, a $25,000 limit. Don't spend that. You ain't got it like that. Stop it. Knock it off. My recommendation is get a side hustle. Get something else to bring you that extra income. Don't be borrowing it unless you're borrowing it from like mom and dad or a cousin or I don't know. And they cool with it or whatever. But go DoorDash, go Uber, work at Starbucks, little Mickey D's. I mean, whatever. Okay. No shame in the side hustle game. I recommend everybody find one, hone in and use that money money as your investing money if you don't make enough in general or you can't budget enough like it's cool we all <laughs> It's been a, a year, okay? Do what you gotta do, but just don't be leveraging money like that. You're gonna get a margin call, it's gonna be a hot mess, so just 
stay clear of that. The third one, you guys, is do your own due diligence. I say it often on this channel. I know a lot of other YouTube finance creators, stock investing channels say it as well, but really, like, <laughs> don't ever just listen to one of us and do what we do. Do your own research, okay? Really invest these companies. See if it's something you personally believe in, you want to invest in, because your money going in there for the long term, okay? And not only do your own due diligence on the company, do your own due diligence with the verbiage. Do you like that word? That was kind of weird, but I think that is a word. <laughs> with the vocabulary of the investing industry, like earnings per share, which is EPS, the PE, the payout ratio, a dividend, balance sheet, cash flow, income statement. I mean, there's so many things that you need to learn up here in your damn noggin to really understand before you just start making it rain up there in Pepsi stock or something like that. <laughs> Although, I like me some Pepsi stock. But everything that's said online here, unless they are certified, okay? Certified gangsters. And by gangsters, I mean like CPA, is a CFA, CPA, I don't know, some accountant's shit, okay? If they're certified, then cool. You know, check out their website and their license, whatever. But I'm talking about for me, for other people on YouTube, don't just listen to us, okay? Really understand it. It's crucial. It's crucial. The fourth thing that I wanna bring up that actually either you're really on board with or you're really not on board with is diversify yo shit, okay? Diversify your portfolio. Like, I think even Warren Buffett was like, oh, you're stupid basically if you diversify too much. Then you know what, Buffett? Get off my back. Okay, we weren't all lucky enough to buy coca-cola back in the 18 freaking hundreds when it was two dollars Okay, so you know what get off of me and it was probably less than it was like a nickel probably to be honest with you <laughs> But I am a firm firm wrong believer in diversifying your portfolio And if you are new uh, to investing and you're not 100% sure what that means It basically means put your eggs into multiple baskets. For example, if I have five thousand dollars to invest I should not dump it all in Tesla stock. Okay, I should put a thousand in Tesla a thousand in waste management a thousand in Apple a thousand in Pepsi and a thousand and 3M. That way, if one stock has a horrible day, you don't look at your account and you see you're down a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars, uh, you might be down a hundred dollars, okay? So it's just separating that risk into different aspects of the market. And there's different ways you could do this. You could diversify by the industry, you could diversify by the market cap, you could just literally buy ETFs, which are just diversified holdings in and of themselves, which is what I highly recommend as a super beginner. But all in all, you guys, just put your money in multiple places, pick five stocks stocks, pick 10 stocks, divvy it up, okay, just divvy it up. Now you guys, this last one is crucial, at least in my personal opinion, and I may be a bit biased, but focus heavy on dividend stocks, okay? Growth stocks are sexy, they're pretty cool, you could flip a few bucks here and there, okay? Long term, you could probably flip a lot, like something like Tesla or whatever, but long term, you guys, you just focus on dividend stocks, like these are cash flowing assets, okay? Cash flowing companies, cash flow in your pocket for that passive ass income. Sure, you could put $10,000 in Tesla and turn it into $70,000 maybe at this point. I don't know, I didn't do the math, but I'm just, you know, for uh, example's sake. Who cares? You're not seeing that unless you sell your holdings. If Tesla paid a dividend, you would see a return on your investment either every month, every quarter, once a year, whatever. Cash flow, passive income, without having to sell a damn thing. But you cash out your 70 grand, you have no more skin in the game. Next week it's a hundred grand. You're all, oh, I should have win it. <laughs> Meanwhile, these dividend companies just making it rain up in your bank account and you don't have to do anything but just keep your money in there. There's no decisions to really have to make. Like, it's just. It's damn easy. And they do tend to outperform a lot of stocks in the market over the long run, so, mm. But if a company doesn't have enough money to pay me passively as a shareholder, I mean, what, there's no, like, I don't see, I don't know, I don't understand it, okay, I don't understand it. And I did a video with more in-depth about that, and I will go ahead and link that right here, you can check it out. But let's go ahead, let's move on in the damn video. But actually, real quick, before I move on, just a couple tips with your dividend investing. Okay, blue chip companies, dividend aristocrats, dividend kings, low payout ratios, good dividend yields, good history of dividend growth, just a few things to look at. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's roll back to the whole education tip I gave you. Do your own due diligence, figure out what that means, find you some companies like that, and you'll be flying high pretty soon. But also remember, I say that just because that's my personal opinion and it's not legal advice. <laughs> you could sink it to the bottom of the ocean and not fly very high, but take that risk if you're willing to. What is your favorite way of investing, guys? Let me know down below. Do you like the growth right now? Do you like only dividend? 
confident? Do you like a mix of both? Which is what I do and I like that. But you guys, I really am curious. Let me know what you're eyeballing right now. Let me know how your portfolio is performing. And you already know the drill. If you could give this video a thumbs up for your girl. Okay, we out here. We still grinding at the office, okay? We grinding all the damn time. I would greatly appreciate it. The channel would greatly appreciate it. YouTube's algorithm finds it necessary, I guess. And if you are new here and you are not yet subscribed, consider subscribing by hand and be in the bottom corner down there underneath the video. Join the crew, join the journey. I post two videos a week on this channel. All about money, investing, stocks, finance, real estate. I just like to make money and have a good ass time. And you already know if you made it this far, you guys are my favorite. You are the real MVP. Come here, you know I love you. And like always, you guys, enjoy the journey, whatever your journey is. Always remember to do what sets your hearts on fire. And I will see y'all, I know I will, in my next video. Bye, guys.